right, we have to get rid of demand pull inflation. The key to this is in the question, demand pull inflation. Something happened in the economy that led to higher prices. Something happened to the demand side of the economy that caused the higher prices. So if we want to address demand pull inflation, we address the problem from the demand side. One of consumption spending, investment spending, government spending, or net exports, an increase in, in one of these, or any of these, led to the initial increase in prices. Now we want to get rid of demand pull inflation. So there must be a decrease in consumption spending, or investment spending, or government spending. Let's, let's take government, for instance. What can government do to decrease demand in the economy? Yes, they can decrease government spending, or they can increase taxes, and that will lead to a decrease in disposable income, and therefore a decrease in consumption spending. Yes, you might have recognized now that we're actually dealing with fiscal policy. Decrease in government spending, and if we have to illustrate that graphically in the ADA's model, start off initial position PE and income level YE, we have the ADA's curves. Now, the assumption is that we have demand pull inflation that caused prices to increase to this price level PE. So, we are experiencing demand pull inflation at PE. Now we must get rid of it. Decrease in government spending, that decreases demand in the economy. And a decrease in aggregate demand can be illustrated by a leftward shift of the aggregate demand curve. And we move from one equilibrium position, PE, YE, to a new one. Let's make it P1, Y1. So the decrease in demand led to lower prices. Lower prices, a decrease in the inflation rate, and that's good. But the decrease in demand does not only affect prices, but also the income level. Because demand in the economy is less, producers will produce less. And if they produce less, they need less labor. So, the decrease in income is accompanied by a decrease in employment. If we need less labor, it implies an increase in unemployment. So that is not good. So if we take measures to get rid of demand pull inflation, you'll see it has a positive effect on inflation. Inflation comes down, but a negative effect on unemployment. Unemployment increase in the process. So we have to choose between these two evils, inflation or unemployment. In the question, we said, okay, well, let's get rid of inflation, demand pull inflation. And that we achieved by decreasing government spending. Or, like we said initially, we could also have increased taxes. That is something that the government can do. You might recognize that we could have the same effect by applying monetary policy. The Reserve Bank could have increased interest rate, and that would have led to a decrease in investment spending, and the same effect on aggregate demand. 